Hey guys, welcome once again. This is Kelly from Bond Machines, and today I'll be reviewing the Brother Pace Setter Super Full Automatic Model ZZ2 B702F. Okay, pretty long, all right, but that's the model number of the um, Brother Machine. Okay, firstly, I want to thank all my subscribers and those that watch uh, my videos and those that also make purchases of these machines for me. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your patronage. All right, so quickly, I'll walk through the features of the machine and also do some couple of stitches with the machines all right firstly it has a double thread stand which is this you can see that there that's a double thread stand in case you want to use um, um for twin needle function okay right here you have the selector for um the designs here okay um it's a machine that has about 20 design you can see that there from one to about 20 and it has this um other part which is for the automatic button home function but i'll walk through that in a moment but this right here it's what selects this and there's this some um, red cursor you can see there so that's what tells you the particular um design you're actually sewing when you're stitching right here is the tension it has number from zero to about seven i think i'm oh, sorry nine zero to nine so it's um a selector for the tension all right right here you have the stitch length regulator um it goes from about zero okay to one two three four all right and here it has a punch in reverse system so in case you want to reverse a top stitch all you just need to do is to just press this in and you're actually reversing all right so right here you have your um selector for the straight stitch and any of the zigzag okay you see this lever here I'm trying to pull that this lever it actually has a spring bound system there once it's on zero there it's showing the regular straight stitch but immediately you move this cursor down to any of these numbers here you're you're ready to sew any of this design here so for the regular straight stitch it's on default position zero but when you want to sew any of the designs you just pull this in and you just use this to hook it up i'll show you how to do that in a moment okay you see that but i'll just leave it at zero for now right here you have your um, needle position you have the l the m and the arrow which is left is for left middle and the right okay and this is the indicator here so all you just have to do is to just turn this to right and to left you see that that's how to use it for the needle position all right right here you have the um control for the feed dogs you drop this down the feed dogs go down and you raise it up the feed dogs comes up all right uses um all needle type the ha the db and the dp but for this project i'll be using the gem c db needles okay just for you can see that okay and it uses the regular um bobbin and shuttle uh, mechanism this type all right Okay, I don't mind my shuttle is really rusted, but it's all good though. Okay, and shuttle type, all right? So quickly, um, I'll show you how to wind your bobbin. Of course, the bobbin winder is top here. That's bobbin winder here. Okay, so I'll quickly show you how to wind the bobbin and also how to um, do the different stitches in the machine, all right? All right, so in winding the bobbin, normally you're supposed to, there's this knot here. There's a, a knot here on the side of the wheel. You're supposed to... Um, losing this like you know just take it back and you know wind your bobbin that way only this way will be returning and it won't turn the needle part here but um, most times I have complaints that you don't know how to tie this back so usually in my videos I usually just leave this on and you know I don't unscrew this but um, you can do that in your own you can also leave that but for my videos I usually like to leave it on alright so in winding down the bobbin from the thread stand you can use any of the thread stand there um, there's this thing here. It has a spring built-in mechanism there. All right. I wish you can see that. Okay. So you just pass that through here and pass it all the way inside. You know. So what that does is it actually stretches the thread so it can be able to um, wind the bobbin properly. All right. So what you just do is from there you just turn this a bit and you just put that in all the way inside here. All right. So wrap that that right. All right. One minute. All right, so when you've done that, you just um, push it towards the wheel, all right? So when you sew through, I'm actually connected. Okay, so I'll just put this back to M then. I'm actually holding it so the thread won't jump off. Alright, so
when you've gotten the number of ones you want you just push that back in and take it out all right so i'll just walk you directly through the process of treading the machine first from the tread stand as always you take it past through this point here you know past here and now you have to raise this um footer up you need to raise it up because it needs um to be able to open up the spring on the tension okay so like i said earlier on there's the tension part so you just raise that up you pass it through inside there's a tension plate in between this place here so it passes through there it comes up from there it goes down here comes up then this thread take up you can see the thread take up this one here right here it just goes down there and comes all the way down to this point to this point and you thread from front to back okay so i'll walk you through the process again from the thread stand okay which is this it goes all the way through here i'm actually using a white thread now from there you raise the footer up and it passes through the um tension plates in between this tension plate here okay there's a, a small plate in between this place here which is tension plates then goes up goes down then passes through this point here then it comes up to the thread carrier or thread take up then it goes there all the way down to this point here and this point here and you thread from front to back so i'll thread the needle now and also do the stitches with the machine all right guys i already threaded the needle so now to sew the regular straight stitch like i said in the uh, earlier part of the video this has to be on zero and i'm using the maximum stitch length which is four okay i'm using number four and this has to be on zero this level like i said earlier has to be on zero so when i sew through now see that I just for you can see that sure you can see that's the back stitch and that's the front all right so I'll sew um, another stitch just reduce the stitch length a bit so you can see that so what I'll just do is I'll turn this all the way to let's say two and I sew through now guys so there you have it that's the um a much more closer stitch okay you see that the difference in the stitch pattern okay that's a long one and that's a short one now if you want to sew the regular zigzag you know i told you it has other um designs which is um, what you have here so when you want to sew the regular um zigzag this is on m m is for the regular zigzag all you just need to do is to turn this all the way to five or any of the numbers you want to use so i'll just use number five and i use this to hold it in place this acts as a um a, a, a hold up for this spring mechanism not to go back all right so it's on m now i'm here right now the cursor is on m you can see that it's on m and this thing is on five and i'm using number two okay so when i sew through now So I'll just, that's that, that's the zigzag stitch. See that? And also that's the back of the stitch. All right. So now uh, what I'll just do is uh, I'll just be sewing concurrently and I'll be changing this. Okay. So in changing this cursor now, you just press this. So for this, I'll just put it on number nine. I want to change this to one and I'll just be sewing through. so i'm um, just to change through also i'm going to number let's say 16 i'm using number 16 right now all right why at number 16 i'll just um go all the way to let's say number 13 okay so i'm just randomly selecting the stitches i want to do so i wouldn't take too much time on the video all right i hope you understand so that's number 13. then lastly i'll go to number 11 and
this butterfly shape. All right, so okay, so there you have it, guys. That's the um, stitches. I just did a combination of different stitches from the chart. All right, so what I want to quickly let us know is there's this other part of the stitch which has this um, the red cursor. If you look at this cursor here, this um, um, chart here rather, it has um, num we have four here and it has about one, two, three, from um, one to ten. So if you want to store any of the stitch. You move the cursor let's say i want to sew number nine okay you have to turn this um stitch length regulator to all the way to four all right that's why you have the four here so it's telling you that the stitch length regulator has to be a number four okay so this is four here and you have to put this on four this is still maintain number five so when i sew through now you're going to see the outcome of the design all right one minute Okay, so why sewing? You can see the amazing fish design. You see that has this uh, fish-like design, like you have here on the number nine. So I'm gonna take another design from there. I will just do number. Let's see. I want to do number. Let's see number five. All right. So there we go. Right, so now I want to go all the way to number three. Okay, you see the number five design. You can see that. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so I'll go all the way to number three. All right, let's say number three. And so true. Okay, so guys, there you have it. That's a number three design. You can see that, all right? Okay, so you see the different design. This one is a number three. Okay, so now you wanna sew, let me just go all the way to, let's say two. Okay, so let me just do two then. A little bit done with that. Alright, so there you have it. That's number two. Okay, you see that? That's number two design. Now, I told you earlier in the video, the machine has this automatic buttonhole function. So, all you just have to do is, you know, it has um, A, B, C, D, and all that here in the, the diagram, you know, in the chart. So, what you just do is you turn, you, like, you, you throw this down and you turn this cursor all the way to, let's say, so in A. So, I'm using fine stitch. Okay, so... Like now, um, you've already done out the um, the chart of the buttonhole. You've done the um, the normal T sign of the buttonhole. So you just all you just need to do is to put it on A here, like I told you earlier. Put it on A here. Then you just um, sew through. A is for the down part. So you just sew. Come in. A little bit of stress here. One minute. Okay, for the button hole, you just um, write this on A there. So you just have to sew, do some couple of stitches. Just do like, all right. So now you just press this down. It goes automatically to B. Just press this down. It goes to B and it sews. Okay, so. Now you just press this down, it goes all the way to C, and you just do like two turns, and okay, then press this down again, it goes to D, so you just sew through. Alright, so when you're done with the buttonhole, 
you just use a sim rip to open that up all right so it's really a rough work but when you do that you just make sure you do a more and more neat neater design all right so that's your buttonhole and those are the other stitches i was able to do the machine so guys like i said this is the brother pace setter super full automatic zz2-b702f all right thank you so much guys for watching and god bless you